Hey YouTube and welcome back to another Rocket League video. Today I'm going to be talking about cars in Rocket League. What cars like a benefit, how you play, what cars are the best, what even cars do, like what's the benefit of using X car versus Y car, um, why, do, why does everybody use Octane, why do I see Dominus all around, why does nobody use Scarab, why does nobody use Hotshot or Backfire. Um, today I'm going to be talking about those cars. Um, giving you guys a little insight uh, and talk you through how I choose what car in each game. Uh, so yeah, if you guys do enjoy, make sure to leave a like. Uh, comment down below if you have any questions throughout the video. I try to respond to almost every comment there is down there, unless it's just ludicrous. Um, but yeah, let's hop right into this. Alright, so as most of you know, I like to use the Octane car the most. Um, and why do I use the Octane? Well, there's the thing about cars, and the only real thing that differs heavily between cars is turn radius. Turn radius of cars varies a lot. So in cars like the Octane, Dominus, Batmobile, and um, one Breakout, cars like Breakout, um, their turn radius, all of those four cars, turn radiuses are really good. I'll link a chart in the description that shows you the turn radiuses of all cars, but those cars are have very solid turn radiuses on them. And what that means is how quick you can turn left and right while going for a ball, while boosting, while power sliding, things like that. Turn radius determines how fast you can move left and right. Now the thing with cars like Breakout and Gizmo is that they have very bad turn radiuses. So when you drive with a car like a Gizmo, here I'll hop onto a Gizmo real quick. Um, when you drive with a car like a Gizmo or a Roadhog or a Backfire, um, you're basically putting yourself at a disadvantage because your car will not turn as fast. Um, it's hard to notice exactly, but you might be able to feel it if you play yourself with a car. You can see the difference between using what car you normally use and using, say, Breakout, um, Gizmo or Roadhog or any of those. Any of those types of cars they're just not not as fluid you can't turn as fast you can't get to balls that you need to get to um, with those cars um, and yeah that's one big thing about uh, choosing what car you want another huge thing that people should take into account when they're choosing cars um, is the hitbox of cars the hitbox of cars is almost always the same despite what a car might look like uh, I'm using the uh, backfire right now the hitbox and the car itself might look really small, but it's about the same as every other car. There is one exception though. I wanna point out the Merc. The Merc has a pretty large hitbox compared to most other cars, but it fails um, when it comes to turn radius. If you watch uh, Jazer or, uh, I don't know, Neat Mike, any of the other kinda, I don't know, big uh, Rocket League YouTubers, you might see them testing out the Merc. Uh, and that's kind of hype right now, so. Some people prefer it, I personally don't like the Merc, but that's one reason people like to use the Merc, is because the hitbox is much la larger than uh, other cards, even though it does fail when it comes to turn radius. But those two things, turn radius and uh, hitbox, are the main two things that it comes down to when picking car, when picking a car, sorry, um, or designing a car. When you design a car, the only thing that will change your performance is the car itself. Your wheels will not, your hat will not, your topper will not. Those do not affect anything. Even though if you have a topper on, or even if you have a topper on or don't have a topper on, um, it will not change how you dribble the ball, how balls land on top of your head. The toppers do not actually like account for any additional range um, in that respect. Um, so what else? Picking your car. What car do you want to pick? As you can see, most people use Octane, Dominus, Batmobile, Merc, cars with either good radiuses or good hitboxes. When it comes to picking your car, it really just comes down to personal preference. You can go with a couple like solid cars, um, such as like the Octane or like even some people like the Triton right now. Um, Triton is DLC, but if you're looking for non-DLC cars, the Octane is probably the most well-rounded. It's the default car, and it has one of the best hitboxes, and it has a great turn radius. If you've ever seen people play tournaments, tons of people use Octane. Um, so if you're looking for somewhere to start, definitely start with that. Some cars that you should definitely stray away from using when you're selecting a car to play with in Rocket League. You probably should not use the Gizmo. You should probably not use the Roadhog. Um... 
You should probably not use the backfire. Cars that... Really, you can kind of look at cars and almost tell which ones will be bad. Like, the more race car ones, you can see right here, the Batmobiles, the Breakouts, the Dominuses. Um, those are solid cars, whereas cars like Hot Shot, Gizmo, Backfire, they're not as ideal. Um, but if you are going for a big hitbox and you want to kind of mess around, you can definitely go for the Merc. The Merc is a ton of fun. Um, there's also a car on the PS4, if you're a PS4 player and you have it, the Sweet Tooth. The Sweet Tooth uh, behaves like really similarly to the Merc, so if you want to use that instead, it's like a it's like a pre-elf, what was it, it was like a pre-beta car, you got it on PS4 if you did something special. I don't know, I play PC. Um, but definitely if you're going to start and all you have is the default cars, I would definitely recommend Octane to go with, and then if you want to try new stuff as you get DLCs, Batmobile and Dominus are a lot of fun. Um, but yeah, that's just most of what it comes down to when you're picking a card, the turn release and the hitbox. Um, if you guys have any more questions about how car designs work, um, how cars function, if you want to know stuff about specific cars, then I'd love to answer it. Uh, make sure to just comment below and I can either reply to you or make a video about it. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.